Hey you guys, today we're cooking from the stockpile. Gonna share a new recipe with you, so let's get started. Hey you guys, welcome back to Heartway Farms. I'm so glad you're here with us today. Today we are cooking from the stockpile again, time to make dinner, and today we're making our homemade lasagna. So let's get started. First of all, we're gonna come over to the stove top. We're gonna start by making our homemade sauce. And actually, this is the homemade sauce that I use for any red pasta dish. Um, it, it's just a favorite, and so we stick with something that works, right? So this is my large cast iron. I got some feedback that you guys like to know the sizes of my pan so that it helps. And today I'm making a single recipe, just so you know, one single recipe feeds my whole family. It makes a nine by 13. So just helping to give you guys some reference. So I'm gonna turn my heat on, on high here. And this is my, uh, like I said, my 12 inch cast iron. I'm gonna go ahead and give a little spray of avocado oil. We're gonna let that warm up for just a moment. Okay, our cast iron is nice and hot and I have already chopped up one whole yellow onion and I chop it not super fine uh, because it adds a nice texture to the lasagna. So we are gonna brown this first in our oil and let it get caramelized. Okay, so my onions are translucent and just starting to brown a little bit. That is when I'm gonna add my garlic. And here you can either chop up two whole garlic cloves or like I do, I keep minced garlic ready to go in the fridge. And this is about two teaspoons of minced garlic. So we're gonna add that in and continue to let our onions brown up and now our, our garlic get in there and give it some really good flavor. All right, our onions and our garlic are both looking great. Now we are gonna add one pound of thawed ground beef to our mix and brown that up real good. All right, for this recipe, I am using very lean ground beef. So that's why I am okay with leaving all the fat that is in my ground beef in this sauce um, because it gives it such nice flavor. But if you're using a, a ground meat that is higher in fat, you might wanna drain off some of that fat. But like I said, this is grass-fed organic beef. There's not tons of fat in it, so I wanna keep as much flavor in my sauce as I possibly can. I also make this sauce all the time with no meat at all. I, I make this uh, vegetarian as well. So you can absolutely change it up and do that and it's still a delicious sauce. All right, while our meat is finishing up cooking, I'm gonna add my spices to add some real good flavor to that ground beef and all the onions and, and garlic in there. So to this, I'm gonna add all of my spices, which here I have one tablespoon of minced parsley, two teaspoons of our Redmond salt, I have a half a teaspoon of basil, and then an eighth of a teaspoon of cumin. And we're just, oh, it already smells so good. It just gives this sauce such a really nice flavor. So we're gonna let this cook down and bloom some flavor into our food. And we are almost ready. Last but not least for the sauce portion, we're gonna add our tomato sauce. And for this recipe, you can, you, this is great about these recipes. You can be flexible. If you don't ha like put, a, put up your own canned tomato, you can buy store-bought. And for this recipe, you're gonna want three 15 ounce cans of store-bought tomato sauce to mix in. And so yeah, if you're doing your home canned, just shoot for that, you know, 40, 45 ounces-ish um, of tomato sauce. And if, you, uh, if your home canned tomato sauce is a little runny, you can always add a little bit of tomato paste to it as well to thicken it up. But this can be flexible. Um, if, you, if you put in 50 ounces, it's not that big of a deal. Just estimate. All right, and I'm gonna stir this in real quick so it doesn't start popping at me. 
because the tomato sauce and the fat don't like each other for a little bit here. You gotta mix it in. All right, our sauce portion for our homemade lasagna is done. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat and let this sit here, because eventually we're making all these separate little components and eventually we're gonna put it all together in a nice layered lasagna. And it looks beautiful. And really, I have yet to have a lasagna at a restaurant that I like as much as this, and I think my kids would agree. This is my mom's recipe this time, and I'm happy to share it with all, with all of you. All right, so we're gonna leave that there, heat's off, otherwise it'll explode all over, so make sure you turn your heat off, and we're gonna come over to this side. So we have our sauce, and then the other little section we need to have, category, are our lasagna noodles. Now in this part, you can do lots of different things. You can either make your own homemade. We have showed you how to make homemade noodles. You can absolutely turn them into lasagna noodles if you don't have store-bought noodles in your stockpile. But in my stockpile, I keep um, oven-ready lasagna noodles for those days where I just need a quick meal to throw together. But you can also buy the kind of noodles that you have to boil first. It's easy, it's just one extra step, but it's all very doable. So this is one nine ounce box of oven ready lasagna noodles and I'm gonna set those aside. We have our pasta sauce on the stove and here I'm gonna make my cheese sauce as I like to call it, okay? So for our cheese filling, I'm gonna go ahead and combine in a small bowl 16 ounces of cottage cheese. You can also use ricotta cheese. You can also use farmer's cheese. We have used all of these, so they all work here. And if you don't have any of those, whatever you have in your stockpile will work. If you have shredded, you know, mixed cheese with cheddar and, and mozzarella and all those things, you can use that in this section. This doesn't have to be perfect. These are just my, my uh, favorites that I'm telling you about. So I'm gonna combine 16 ounces of that along with three farm fresh eggs, okay? Which we have plenty of those. Okay. And the eggs just bind everything together nicely. So you mix this up and it makes a nice cheese filling right in the middle. We'll get to how to do that in just a moment. So I'm just gonna combine this. Once it's all incorporated, we're just gonna set it aside for when it's time to do the layers. Okay. So I have my noodles, I have my cheese filling, I have some fresh Parmesan, which we're gonna use at the very end just to throw on top. Again, if you don't have it, that's okay. You can absolutely make this recipe without it. I just love the flavor of, of Parmesan. And then last but not least, um, I need a good portion, um, several cups of, of your favorite cheese. The, the original recipe calls for either sliced or shredded mozzarella, but today I'm using my Azure Standard Raw Milk Cheddar Cheese uh, that I love to stock up on. I've shared that with you guys before. If you wanna check out Azure, you, we've got a link below, but I buy their bulk cheese. I cut it and I shred it and I store it in the freezer so that it can be easily stored in my stockpile without going bad. And it just works so great for a recipe like this. It's a super mild flavor, so that's why I'm using it in place of mozzarella. We have also uh, shown you guys in a previous video, if you wanna go check it out, how to make your own homemade mozzarella. If you go to the store and you don't have access <laughs> to store-bought items, uh, you can go find raw milk and make your own mozzarella at home. We have used that in this recipe and it works great too. All right, we have all of our components here, all of our different uh, sections or categories that we're gonna layer together into beautiful lasagna. I have a nine by 13 pan already sprayed with some avocado oil so that I don't have the sticking issues. Cause you guys know pasta and baking, they it likes to stick. So first, our first step is going to be to take just a nice scoop of our meat sauce and cover the bottom of the pan. This will make sure that our noodles don't stick, okay? I would say you're using about a half a cup or so of sauce to cover the bottom. Just make sure you've got a good thin layer. This does not have to be thick right here. Okay, next we are gonna layer half of our lasagna noodles. And the thing that I love about this recipe, it just does not have to be perfect at all. It still tastes good, no matter how you do it, how you improvise the layers and all of that. It just works out really nicely. All right, so I'm covering this layer with my noodles. Next, 
I'm going to take all of my cheese, my uh, cottage cheese with my eggs, that mixture, and I'm gonna put the whole thing in this, in this layer. I'm gonna spread it around to the edge and so it goes all the way through the lasagna. All right, that covers it really nicely. All right, next I'm gonna take a good handful, let me see, I, this is where I estimate because I always use more than I should because we love cheese. So that's about, I'll probably do about a cup or so, or a cup and a half, and just put as much cheese as you want of this. Um, my, this is my ch cheddar cheese that I'm using, but again, you can use mozzarella, you can use cheddar, you can use uh, anything shredded up that you have or sliced. Okay, so there is that layer. All right, now we're gonna do half of the remaining meat sauce that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and layer on top of my cheese layer. Okay, I'm gonna, we'll use the other half in just a little bit. So we're gonna cover this up real good. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect, just do your best. Try to get your cheese layer covered with sauce. We're gonna do another layer of noodles. And just don't worry, I usually have a few noodles left anyway that I don't use and I just throw them in a baggie for next time. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to use the rest of our meat sauce, all of it. All right, all of our meat sauce is on there. We're gonna just wash that pan up in a minute, but I'm gonna use the rest of my shredded cheese and sprinkle it along the top. You really can't have too much cheese in this recipe, just my humble opinion. All right, and like I said, I love to use Parmesan cheese on the very top here. If you uh, don't have it, that's okay, but it gives it such a nice flavor, nice Italian flavor. All right, we are all finished. Now we're gonna put this in a preheated oven uh, for about 30 to 40 minutes. I'm just gonna watch it. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And all I want it to do is get a beautiful golden brown cheese color on top. I love when the edges get crispy. I know some of you guys are the same way. So I'm gonna let it get nice and, and beautiful on top and then I'll check back in with you guys when it's all finished. All right, our lasagna is all done. The timer just went off. I let it go a full 40 minutes and it is just starting to get nice and crispy around the edges. Now I'm gonna let it set up for about 10 minutes before serving. But one thing I wanna tell you guys about is that this is one of those meals that I can make today and then serve tomorrow. I can pre-make my lasagna and not bake it, put it in the fridge, cover it up, and then bake it the day I wanna bake it. It's a really uh, great meal to have on standby for those easy, quick meals that you wanna throw together or make ahead of time. And again, this will stay good in the fridge, baked like this for a solid week, and we can just heat it up as we go. So it's one of our favorites. I want you guys to try it out, tell me how you like it, and enjoy it with your family. I hope this was enjoyable, and we'll talk to you all soon.